Welcome to Tesla Bytes, Serve GIS in Small Bytes. Today we will be covering ArcGIS Portal Configuring Operations Dashboard Part 3. To review how we have gotten this far, check out our previous two videos, Part 1 and 2 of Configuring the Operations Dashboard. In this video, we will finalize our dashboard by adding a header panel. We'll also include in that header panel a category selector to toggle between active and archive traffic incidents and include another category selector drop-down menu to allow users to query incident types. Finally, we'll link all of these elements up to ensure they query not only the map, but other related elements within the dashboard as well. First, let's add a header. This is important for obvious reasons, but it will serve as a platform for some other elements that we'll add in a moment. To add a header, we'll go and add an element and select header. And here there are a number of parameters that we can fill out, but we'll go ahead and start with the obvious, the title. Now with the title populated, there are a few other parameters that we can fill out, as such as the subtitle. We can also point to a logo and incorporate a logo into our header and change the text color or the background, as well as even link the header to a URL, such as maybe the company main website. With that configured, we'll go ahead and click Done. And then now you'll see the header that has been added to the top of our dashboard. Next, I'd like to add some query capabilities for the user. There's a lot of data showing here, and I'd like to allow the user to just view those active incidents. We already have an indicator element showing us the count, but let's allow users to tune out some of the noise at the archived incidents. You won't find the selector elements we'll be adding in the usual spot by clicking the plus sign. Instead, we'll go to the configuration options at the header we just added. Here you'll see there are a few options. We can go back and configure the actual header. Then there is a category selector, a number selector, and a date selector. We'll be adding the category selector to toggle between active and archive traffic incidents. So we'll select that one. First, we'll want to choose categories from grouped values and select our traffic data. Next, we'll want to select the category field to be our traffic status, and then load the categories. And you'll see we have the two categories here, archived and active. We'll go ahead and clean up the labels and add a label as a direction, select status. We'll keep the operator as equal, and instead of the drop-down option here, as you can see as a demonstration up here, we'll select from drop-down button bar to allow users to click a button to select active or archived. We'll enable the none option to allow users to toggle back to view all traffic incidents. Let's configure what happens when users toggle between the buttons. We'll do this by selecting Actions, and here you can be prompted when selecting changes, we'll filter and we'll add targets. The first target will be obvious is the data we'd like to map to be queried by the selection. I'd also like the pie chart that we have in the dashboard be queried as well. Once it's configured, we'll click Done. And now you can see the category selector has been added to the top of the dashboard. I'd also like to allow users to query one or multiple incident types. To do that, we'll add another category selector like before. And just like before, we'll configure the selector options like so. We grouped our values based on the traffic instance data. We selected the category field to be the issue reported and pulled those categories. We cleaned the labels up. We have the selection be sorted by issue reported. And we'll label our issue reported. We'll allow users to select multiple. And that changes the operator from equal to include. And we'll keep this selector as a drop-down option. Like the previous category selector, we'll set the actions like so. We'll include the traffic incidents in pie chart like we did previously, but we'll also have those line charts be adjusted by the selection as well. Now with this selector configured, we'll go ahead and click Done. We can select Active to view just the active incidents and select All to toggle back to view all traffic incidents. And we can also query by traffic incident types. Here we've queried on collision and collision with injury. You'll notice that the pie chart, the line graph, as well as the map have all been updated based on these queries. You also see that the incidents that are selected have a blue bar next to it. To remove the query, just select the options again. To recap, we finalized the dashboard to show traffic incidents in Austin, Texas. We added a header which allowed us to add additional category selectors to enable users to better query and view the data. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve UGIS in small bytes. 
Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.